Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. So I need to talk about this because some of y'all is going through situations like this where the right attitude for you to take is to be cold. I'm going to give y'all some examples. Like it be some situations where you just flat out got to look at how people did you. That's disrespecting yourself if you always try to take the high road and you always, well now we back in the no metric stuff. You always trying to take the high road and you always think that the right thing to do is to help everybody. You, you're the one that give drug addict patent handlers your hard earned money just to do drugs. You can't tell me they're not doing it because I know security guards that know them and they have admitted it. At least where I'm from. Maybe not where you're from, but at least where I'm living and where I'm from, that's the case. So, it's like this. You ever seen that person, right? That when you needed help, they didn't help you. But now they need help and they expect you to help them. Like we talked about, you can't be soft in situations like this. Think of it like this. You ever seen a person that had a lump sum of money, right? And they knew you were struggling and they didn't offer to help you. But now you done passed them up and now they want you to help them, don't help them. And if you do, don't give them no major help. Don't give them no, and stop, leave God out of it because we see every day. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you this fact, coming from somebody that loves the most high, communicates with them, communes with them. But the fact is that every day we see people that have no love, no respect for God, having more and getting more than some people to do. So leave the most high out of the earthly stuff other than asking for divine protection and to remain healthy. Leave them out of the money stuff. I've learned to leave them out of the money stuff. When sometimes I still mention it, but not like I used to. Leave them out of the money stuff. Because think about it, when you like me and you see things for what they are, I have a prophetic gift. There's no, no way I want to think that of my, my king, my, my most high, my highest one. I don't want to think that way towards him. So I don't want to be like, well, I asked them for it. How did they got it? I, that's why I leave that out. I try to leave that out because that I know people that that's the reason why they not spiritual no more unanswered prayers so on and so forth should they be that way no do I understand yes but the solution when it come to your money the only thing you should be praying is that uh no demonic entity will be allowed to hinder it. Things like that. And then you just go get it. But there be people, like y'all be talking about God this, God that. But, but you do realize he knows how to work through a person's heart, right? Okay. I can keep going. Because now I done made my point with that. So you got some people that they want you to help them because they down now. And they have 15, 20,000. All you needed was 1,000. All you needed was 2,000. They ain't help. They didn't help one particular person. That's why I let people talk. You got to be a good listener because 
they told me something I didn't know. Like when I was going through my tough time in Texas, this particular person was like, yeah, I had 20,000. I'm like, wait a minute, you had 20, all right. This is what I'm thinking in my mind. Like, all right, say no more. And after that, the help became extremely limited. We went really, me coming back here has been somewhat of a disaster in some ways. It's been ups and downs, but things have happened that I don't believe what could have happened in a million years if I was still in Texas. You know, the main thing that happened in Texas was uh, normally things on the job. The, the stuff here is on the job, off the job, here, there. And so I say, sometimes you got to be cold. Sometimes you got to say no. In fact, I would say in your life, there's going to be more time where you need to say no than you need to say yes. That's just the way it is, man. Y'all helping people that wouldn't, wouldn't even help you. Oh, that's my mama. That's, yep, and your mama had $90,000 at once. How much of that she gave you? See, y'all don't realize, man. This, And then, get this. You got people that won't move. They've been wanting to relocate. Now I'm in the prophetic. They've been wanting to relocate, but they won't because my mama this, my mama that. Is that the same mama that was not helping you, was was at times being very verbally disrespectful towards you? That's the one you won't leave? Okay, that's you. That's you. Cussing you out? Okay. So you're going to revolve your life around somebody who has treated you like that. I'm telling you, I got to be more cutthroat, man. You, you got to be. You got to be. When I, and this is how I know I got a little bit of what I'm telling you. Because when I think about all the money that I want to make I don't think about who I'm going to help I'm sure I will help somebody but here's why you don't never think about you said if I hit the lottery I'm going to do this this nope if you hit the lottery you hit the lottery you should be looking at it like I'm going to hit the lottery not who you going to help and here's what you do. The people, to keep people from thinking about who you're going to help, the people that you would add to your list, I want you to, to name all the negative stuff that they was doing. And then let me see if you're going to want to help them then. I think I said enough on this one. Let me know if y'all want me to talk a little more. Perhaps you can send thanks by hitting the like button by sharing the content or by uh, supporting the content via Cash App. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all my No Matrix brothers and sisters out there. We got more videos to come. Stay tuned.